You ready for day two, bros? Mm -hmm. We're going to Duke's Creek Falls, 4.7 mile hike. So we turn it a nine, we'll see. That's gonna be a while. Bob is gonna like that. We're gonna get a, a darn back to the post office, not deliver. My towels are sitting at the post office. Really? The towels that I needed for hiking that I specifically ordered. How are they open? 9 a.m. Dang. I'm just stop on the way back. And get yep. It. So today's agenda is to go hike, check off Duke. Creek's, Duke's Creek Falls off the checklist. Hopefully enjoy, you know, I'm supposed to be enjoy. I, all I can think about is the end goal, you know, not the, I know. you should enjoy the, the ride, the journey here. So we're gonna go hit that up and test out my new, my new Solomons. Looking very, uh, very hikey. Then my mics has, only I got the, the white ones. So we'll see if we ruin them or not. We'll see if they fit. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna finish the gym. And then we'll get into the home theater. So we'll see how it goes. That's the plan today. It's raining. It is raining. Rain or shine. That's right. spending a lot of time out here if you're gonna hike and drive Spacers and cool wheels. Yeah, cool car. I just don't like that fast back. Yeah, like that yeah, 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 yeah. I just like, like the sedans. Yeah. You ready for this, Mike? I got my socks. These socks. I'm converting. I'm just gonna wear these all the time. It's weird because my feet should be hot. That's the way I felt about these, and they're not. <laughs> yeah. And they're wool. Yeah. It's like when my feet are hot, but like they never go past the point of sweat. Yeah, it's weird. I guess that's why people wear wool socks forever. Our track shorts and busting up the matching shirt from the shoes. There we go. Just gotta get some knives. I don't have a knife, like a big old Rambo knife on my. <laughs> I'm like, she, she. Like a cycle hiker? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start shopping for that. I need a knife. I need some bear spray. I need to bring my one of my compasses. Yeah. All these granola, granola nerds visiting here from, uh, from Washington State, Oregon. Yeah. They wouldn't come here. They already have their own stuff. I guess that's true. Oh, they got me. Come try to mess up another state. Yeah, do we need to babysit the key, or can you handle it's it? It's in there. It's locked in. It's so been known. Oh, yeah, he's, don't he's, let this go. He's been known to lose and lock keys. <laughs> Only in my own vehicle. <laughs> <sighs> All right, where do we go? This way or this way? It took 20 minutes to get here. 18 minutes to get here. And uh, 
We'll see how long it takes. So Duke's yeah. Creek Falls 11 miles hike. No, that's 1.1. 1. 1. Where do you see the point? Right here. A little divot. Yeah. Someone might have put that in there to fool you. Yeah, no, it's not 11 miles. Okay. <laughs> That'd be funny if it was. <laughs> Get back tonight. Like that's a spring trap waiting to happen. Look at that, it's a double snap. It's crazy. Coming to this sort of family hike and you want to go see the falls, uh, you could go, like it tells you, go down down to, to get to the falls that way. If you will go this way, there's a trail, it's an extra mile. So a mile out and back takes you to Smithgall Woods, I think it's called. It's like some cottages. So if you just wanted to add some distance to this, super easy. Not as trimmed as this, but um, this is an easy hike for sure. This is a family, yeah. This is a Katie Bell. Hike. That's probably a little easy. This has a little bit of uphill, but not yeah. bad. Yeah. So this is a this is more of like a walking trail than it is a hiking trail. So anyway, we're heading back. Yeah. This gets a high PD rating, Peloton Dad rating. Meaning easy, super easy. But well, like but still other nice. What the other rating that you had? Uh, you had the kid rating or no FD rating. The family. And, uh, something else. Shoot, good rating. Oh, that's B for babies. For babies, yeah. For babies, very high. <laughs> the wrap on old Duke's Duke's Creek Falls. I don't know why I can't. I can't keep his name straight. High for babies factor. No, seriously, if you have some kids, great little kids like you know, set five to eight, nine. You're, uh, if you're a bunch of, you know, avid hiker dudes, <laughs> then you might not want to take this one. You might want to leave this one for the babies. Yep, not bad. Okay, so what we're doing is trimming out the, uh, the mat with PT. And, uh, to lock it in. We got this this left to do. So just using some tap con, some quarter inch by two and a quarter tap con, thrown through the stone, and uh, yeah, framing it in. Matt's putting together the the plate hanger. Using Sonic tools. I'm using Milwaukee tools. Both are for sale on SuscGarage.com. Yep. To hold our weights, Mike. I started out with a thousand pound set and then we'll see how that works and then we'll add to it. I came up with this idea though, when we're on the hike, I'm gonna create like 10 Destination OG1 benchmark workouts. And then we'll put them on a board or put them on the site or something like that. So let's say you come here and let's say one of the workouts is like, you know, 10,000 meter row for time or something like that. And then we'll just create a leaderboard. And then, you know, you come back and try to beat your old time. It'd be kind of cool. So all of these will go on here once we figure out where we're going to put them. 
I'm going to build the bench next. And I'll bring the bike down, put that together. I uh, was working all morning on the cardboard. You know, two and a half, three hours worth of cardboard work just to get the cardboard cut up. We cut it in little pieces, put it in the pan of mirror, took it to the dumpster. Gosh, we got loads and loads of trash every time I come here. And we don't have a pickup truck this time, so this was much harder, so we can't take it to the dump. So, I'm just gonna finish up the uh, edge, the uh, trim, whatever you call it, fern strips, and then uh, I'm gonna cut, we're gonna cut some pieces back here, and I'm gonna put the rig together and see how it fits out here. Got my barbell. This barbell's awesome, it's X training. I thought, you know, I always buy Rogue stuff or I used to buy Penlay bars. I don't like the Rogue bars. I think the HREs would look good on this. I think I'm gonna have to get one of these for a daily. Yeah, V8 turbo. Some nice wheels, tune, some exhaust. I think that's the key. It's a cool cruiser. It's a big car, but it doesn't feel too big to drive. Stop, stop, stop sidetracking me, Mike, talking about cars. I came to get this and you, you wanted to film, do some vlogging. The people you know yeah, it's a, it, you know what today is hmm. guess what today would be ideal for hmm. some nice warm cinnamon rolls nice cup of coffee nice movie just relax oh, man. maybe one two three four cinnamon rolls I'm just saying just you know saying. But here we are slaving away <laughs> slaving <laughs> going down mike rack time some road type stuff, Mike. This is the actual workout is putting the mats in, hmm. assembling the equipment. Man, this is cool. Look at this thing. shopping while you're there. <laughs> I guess there's more than one way to configure this. I'm not a rogue fitness guru. The Datomatic 5000 Mike. Feel that fan. Stand in front of that bad boy and get you some get you some cooling. See when you're ever hot out here Mike and you know in the Georgia sun, you just come in here and exercise, <laughs> get fanned off. You really get after it, Mike. Really get some cool, what was that? Speed was 31. 30 miles an hour, Mike. 600 watts, 30 miles an hour. You can run the generator for us. I don't think I can do that for very long, Mike. Hmm. <clears throat> That in. 
Yeah, cause that's the four foot bar. So the four foot piece is gonna connect to the top here. We're not gonna have any pull up bars. So we're gonna have the, the rack in the middle here. So that's where those gray bars are gonna go. All right, so now we take the black bar, so the black one there, these, these nothing on it. Yep. And then the built that's going to come down and go back we're going to put them together but this piece has to 180. nope oh yep it, yeah it does how did i do that uh-oh i think this is on backwards oh no how did i do that wait that means that this is whole thing is wrong then god dang it well wait a minute actually it doesn't <laughs> matter because it's in the middle anyway yeah, the feet should be out the other way. Yeah. But it, it doesn't matter because this is in the middle of the rig. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, it does matter, but it doesn't matter. It's so heavy, it's insane. This is just one section of- Yeah, it's built like pallet racking. You know, about the same. I think it's way age. more stout. You think so? Yeah. I'm gonna have to knock on You got your nuts and the knock washed over there? Mm, I got what do you have? I don't know what I got. I can't see. Uh, but if you, what do you bring it? I don't know. <laughs> Some stuff. <laughs> Some pieces. <laughs> See, that was good there. Have those. It worked out well. Still, this will be the main pull up spot. Here, and here, because this, this is going to go to here. It's looking pretty good. It's a little bit overkill. It's the only way I know how to do it. I should come to think of it, you could just row right in the middle. You have to get the rower right here. That's true. can't. No, because I need that clearance. My feet. This one's too. Hey, this one. Oh, yeah, that one's good too. Shoot. Then we should probably put them both at that height then. Yeah, but then we can just take that bolt. Because we only left one bolt there. We can just put... We, need, we get our two bolts back in. Yep. Yep, which they're right there. Now this is... That's too high. Yeah, we'll yeah. come down. Because this, this is like level. about right for... You, I could even do that one. Yeah. It's the key is I don't want to hit my feet on the ground. You want away. Yeah, so we'll come down. So they're the same. Yeah. And then we'll have two bolts in there and everything will be right as rain. I mean, isn't a two by four going to, um, should we use that Ife wood so it's harder? Well, yeah, I was I was just curious how far out it oh. Lift up on this thing and see where we're at. Not bad right there. It's only about a quarter out and four feet. So 
So, <laughs> I was like, what is that noise on the, <laughs> the shelf finally gave out. Oh man. Oh, it's all rotted out. Oh man. Dang it. Look at that. Sure is. Shoot. Like you couldn't have waited another half an hour. Another <laughs> couple hours, I had all that stuff out of there. Dang it. Well, now we know I gotta take that thing out of there. After my custom cut. <laughs> yeah, all that work stuff. Shoot. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> a little tremor, a little, little earthquake tremor. <laughs> There was a lot of weight on there. I had everything stacked up nice and neatly in there. Look really, at those plates fell down on your machine. I scratched on my new rower and everything. Oh, that's the rubber. Dang it. Deal that tomorrow. Everything tomorrow. Now it's higher. 95% <laughs> done. But you don't want them just hang, you want your feet to touch the ground when you're doing back. Like you should be, your feet should be like when I'm just stretching. Yeah. So you want your feet to touch. If you want to stretch your lower back, that's what I'm trying to do. You want to you know spread out your spine. So, so, this, so this bar is good for me. And then you would come out. Like this. Yeah, well I'm in a little bit less than that. Like have your feet just barely touching. I can't believe that. Thing broke. I heard a little rumble. <laughs> like the, Squirrels we, again. We saw the whole bag of <laughs> Look at that. I think it was a little odd anyway. It'd have been nice to have a seat there though for a little while. Well, we can repair it. I mean, we can get wood and just no, fix it. No, I want to put, I, that's where I want to put all the gear. Okay. So I want to get the, like they make a monster light. Like shelf system? Yeah. Okay. And I could probably get it pretty close to fitting that and it would look super sweet. Another couple of trips on the driveway. Mm -hmm. I think we have them delivered to Obsessed Garage, put them in the back of Mike's truck, and then drive them up here. <laughs> All right, let's not stand here and look at this. Quit. If we're going to quit, let's quit. All right, we got all the equipment assembled. I've got, I uh, just have to put the wheels on the, on the weight tree. Now we're gonna have to tear out the bench. So that's another thing I'm gonna to do tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we'll come out. See, it's getting kind of dark, and there's not very good lighting out here. We'll come out, level this, bolt it. So you know we'll have this done in the morning. And then, um, but tonight we're gonna to eat some dinner. We're going to go work on the home theater tonight. Mike. Don't be freaking slacking on no. that. <laughs> so, so, but we're a wrap for the gym here today. We'll clean this, blow this off, clean up. Maybe it won't rain tomorrow. Maybe we get this really cleaned up. Yeah. I actually just clean this on my hands and knees for the first time. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Yeah. I'll just get some towels and like wet blow, it. Blow it off it. first with the ego. Yeah, blow it, it off, stop. wet it, wipe it, dry it. That's the way to go. It's pretty sick. We got the furring, got furring strip done. I got all the cardboard out of here. That was a big project. Yeah. Um, we got all the flooring done. Well, we need to redo the flooring there. So yeah, we just need we just need to get one mat. We'll keep one mat. I think well, we'll just, I'm going to rip this thing out and we'll just cut it. Yeah. Might as well do it. All right. And then um, get, you know, I'll start monkeying around with where I'm going to position all the equipment. But I think this is where the rig's going to go. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, block wall goes all the way to the floor. That's good. What the heck am I going to do with all that wood? All right. Successful day yesterday. Got all the cardboard out of here. We got this all cleaned up. If you remember the start of yesterday, this was chaos. The gym is like 90% done. All we have to do is level, bolt up the the rig, and then I've got to tear out that bench that fell apart. And uh, we didn't work on the home theater last night. So, so yeah, we'll get started on that. Maybe today, maybe not. We'll see. But um, yeah, it was a good successful day, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm.